I decided um, since I'm in the middle of um, a project here on this mill and it's coming up on Thursday and I've um, already seemingly overcommitted myself to doing weekly videos um, I thought it's a good opportunity to maybe uh, try out a slightly different format here with uh, putting my um, somewhat acceptable face uh, in front of the camera and run my mouth that way rather than you just looking at my hands talk um, which seems to be a pretty popular format on YouTube so here we are I decided to do a little bit of a review on this mill it's my main piece of equipment here in this little tiny shop that I have um, it's kind of a bit of a mess right now so the first thing I'm gonna do is sort of clean up the chips real quick and then do a head-to-toe assessment of this machine and how I feel about it um, and hopefully it, it can provide some valuable insight to people that might be looking into purchasing or getting into some hobby machining um, especially with a milling machine um, it's definitely a hobby level machine in my opinion um, but I'll explain some of that as we go through I will do my best to um, handle this camera as I'm talking. Sometimes I tend to uh, let the camera stray as I'm talking, but just a, a quick overview. I believe, yeah, this is the Model 5000 Sherline Mill. Um, it's uh, Sherline Products Incorporated, uh, Vista, California, made in the USA. If you actually go to Sherline's website, you'll see what sort of company they are as far as, um, you know, they really take pride in, in the American made. Now, I will say that um, this motor and uh, some of the electrical stuff here is definitely Chinese um, or Taiwan or something like that. However, all of the major components on this machine are made in the facility in California um, by Sherline. So it, uh, overall, the, the quality of the machined parts on here and just the precision of the assembly and the movement, you can really tell that there's some, some care and, and quality put into this product. So I will give them a bonus for that. So see, I'm working on uh, this indicator clamp, which I have a couple uh, videos going right now with it. So this, this vise here is actually sold by Sherline as well. Um, it's it's a perfect fit. It's made for a machine like this. Uh, it comes with these little clamps. Again, made for this type of machine. So it is quite a perfect fit. I did modify it a little bit, but it does work quite well. Now, Sherline also, if you look on their website, they have all sorts of accessories that go with these machines. Um, that again, they fit perfectly. They come with hardware. It's it's a unpack it and go type of setup, so it's it's pretty attractive if you're just looking to get going. So again, I'll start at the top. The motor is very nice. Um, I'll turn the spindle on here. Uh, you can see sort of the low range, and we'll just crank it up. It does have a variable speed. Here's the max. I think the max RPM is probably 2,000, I think, um, but you can see it's a multi-pulley setup here, so we could could change that a little bit, increase the torque, decrease the torque, um, but it is it is a pretty reliable, reliable setup there. It does have a draw bar um, that will hold different collets in. There's actually a thread on the spindle for other tools, end mill holders, and, and such, uh, which I have quite a selection there. Um, the hand wheels, if you can see it, probably not, are actually graduated in thousands. 
and they're fairly accurate. Um, on the back side here, there's actually an oil cup to oil the z-axis so that's also a nice feature and then you can see here uh, there's also another cup to oil the cross slides and here you can see the graduations on the y-axis and the graduations on the x-axis now the front here there is no cover on the lead screw so you just have to take care to keep that clean this screw here is a locking screw for the x-axis. Now back here they do actually have a brass tube over top of the lead screw. So that helps a lot with uh, keeping the back end clean. You can see sort of the, the column construction there. Um, this is solid aluminum. The base is solid aluminum. There I go with the camera. <laughs> um, and then it's interesting how the head, the spindle here is actually held on. It's going to be hard to show, but there's a key that locks the orientation in place. So it's very difficult once the head is tightened on for this to go out of tram. Um, that key really adds to the rigidity of the machine. And you can also tilt, you can remove the key and if you can see it which you probably can't there's actually graduations on here so the head can be tilted on an angle along along this axis here if need be um, again overall uh, it's a very small machine the range in the Y is probably about three inches or so um, there's a good bit of X travel however and there's also a good bit of Z travel um, I have actually tilted the head 90 degrees and sort of used it as a as a horizontal mill, uh, and so there's a little bit of capability there also. Um, it, it is. I imagine this would be quite unstable if I didn't have it bolted to a steel plate, because um, I do get a good bit of vibration. But I am pretty aggressive with a lot of my milling, so that's kind of to be expected. I will say. Overall, I'm impressed and very satisfied with the purchase here. I've had this for probably over a year now. Um, and for the value, which I think I might have paid $750 for this, um, I really can't beat it. I've had a lot of fun making parts here. Um, I've really enjoyed the time, and I plan on purchasing a, a lathe from them within the next few months. Um, and uh, I just think overall it's a very sturdy and reliable product their support is great if there's ever any problems they fix it right away ordering was a breeze um, you know so I can't say enough about the company and I'm not just saying it to get any perks or anything like that uh, you know I'm not in it for that <laughs> you know I'm, I'm, I'm pretty uh, just a hobby guy here so I'm not looking for any recognition on that front. Um, I just want to promote a good um, American-made product here for the hobby machinist. So that's my general review. If anybody has any questions, comment it or email me or whatever. Be more than happy to address it. Thank you for watching.